Welcome to Black's CAD. Today I'll show you how to make a flower pot. First, I'll select a cylinder from my 3D Shapes tools. And to get the tapered shape of a pot, I'm going to click the lock to unlock radius 1 from radius 2. Then I'll make the bottom radius of the cylinder 40, the top radius 50, and the overall height of my flower pot 80. Then I'll hit render and use my mouse wheel to zoom out until I can see the entire shape of my flower pot. Now I'll turn this solid shape into an actual flower pot shape by removing the center. So first, we'll duplicate that first cylinder, but reduce the size by five, and move it up the Z axis by five. And I'll add an extra color here just so you can see that second cylinder. Then I'll use the difference function which can be found in the setups tools to subtract that smaller cylinder from the larger one like this. Now since we reduced the size by five and moved it up by five this new flower pot shape has a wall thickness of five all the way around. It's time to add drainage holes to the bottom of my pot. Just like the last step, I'll create the shape first and then subtract it away. So I'll select a cylinder, keeping the default dimensions, and shift that cylinder to the edge of my pot using translate, moving it 32 units in the X direction on the X axis. You'll see the cylinder there. I want four holes in the bottom, so I'll duplicate this set three more times so that I have four cylinders total but I'll move them around so that their holes are evenly distributed on the base of the pot. So I'll move this one minus 32 so it moves to the other side of the x-axis, like that. And these last two I'll move in the y direction instead, minus 32, moving x back to zero. And now you'll see four cylinders in the base of that pot. When I'm using so many duplicates of the same shape, I most likely want to manipulate them as one. So I'm actually going to use the union function in this case, put all four of those holes in one union, and then I can use shift them together. And in this case, I want to subtract them away. So I'll add another slot to my difference function and move that entire unit into that slot and we'll subtract all four holes away at the same time. Here's the finished flower pot design. Now it's time to go make your own. You can keep it like this, you can make it larger, smaller, change colors, add decorations, whatever you'd like. Thanks for exploring Blocks CAD with us and have fun creating.